'twas the night before Christmas, and all through the base, not a creature was stirring except Taputi in lace. Her stocking was hung on the doorknob with care, in hopes that her suitor would soon get her there. <sighs> What's taking so long down there? Einstein was nestled all snug in his bed, with visions of Newton losing his head. Tesla in jammies and Darwin in feathers, Curie in cotton and Freud in his leathers. So safe word is mother. When through space and time there arose such a wrinkle, Winston ran to the monitor in the midst of a tinkle. Uh, uh, never. Away to the clock face, he flew like a flash, tore open a portal, and dove into the past. The moon on the breast of Austrian snow gave an ominous tone to the houses below. When what through a window did Churchill there see? But a miniature Hitler who was smiling with glee. More rapid than gypsies, his teammates they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Darwin, now Tesla, now Freud and Tabuti, on Einstein, on Z3, and you too, Mary Curie. So up to the housetop, the science friends flew, looking like reindeer and Saint Nicholas too. And then little Hitler, he heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. With eyes full of wonder, he quickly spun round, and down through the chimney, St. Nicholas bound. He was dressed all in red, from his hat to his shoes, a cigar in his mouth, his breath smelling of booze. A half-drunken smile on his round little head assured little Hitler he had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight for his sack, took out a gun, and pulled the hammer right back. And laying a finger up to his lip, a gleam in his eye, he emptied the clip. He sprang to the roof, to his team gave a wink. Back to the future, they were gone in a blink. But I heard him exclaim as they drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, Hitler's dead. <laughs>